So today I'm making a video that I've been putting off making for a long time because it just makes me feel really awkward. <laughs> One thing I've always known with making YouTube videos is I want to be really true and authentic to who I am and be able to help you guys out in any way that I possibly can. For me, it would feel like I'm doing a disservice if I didn't talk about my anxiety on my channel. Ooh, I'm getting so nervous talking about this, like my hands are sweating. Just to give you a little bit of a background, I had my first real full-blown anxiety attack when I was a senior in high school. It was the first time that I felt so completely out of control with not only my emotions, but with my body reacting physically to these emotions and there was nothing I can do about it and there wasn't even anything particularly terrible that had happened. But for some reason, it was like my world was crashing down around me. I was with my family at the time celebrating the holidays and I woke up just hysterically sobbing and freaking out. At the time I was sharing a room with my stepsister and I remember all she said was, hey, I'm here for you. Let me know if you want me to talk to you or what I can do to help you. But like, I'm just gonna sit in here and be here for you. And I remember, oh, I could cry. Like she was so, and she still is like someone I turn to when I have anxiety. Oh my gosh, I'm like actually crying all the time because she's just like the single most understanding person I've ever met. And she was like the perfect calming presence to have in that situation for me at that time. It was so scary. And at the time, I didn't even know what it was. I didn't know that it was anxiety. I didn't know anything. I don't have it all the time. I know some people deal with anxiety every single day of their lives and it's not as irregular as me and I don't even have words. Like that would be so hard. But all the same, I do still get anxiety. Also, let me just put it out there. This is something really personal to talk about. My anxiety is not gonna be the same as the next person's anxiety. So please just refrain on any negative comments. This is my personal story. Everyone has their own struggles with it. So just because mine might not be the same as yours, it, it doesn't discredit me. And I'm putting myself out there. So please, all I'm saying is just be gentle with your words during this video because I'm feeling really vulnerable right now. Yeah. So I suffered with anxiety from that point on. Really off and on, it was really dependent and it would just kind of come out of nowhere. But I remember a couple times throughout college, I would randomly get an anxiety attack. It didn't feel like it was really connected to anything or triggered by anything. I graduated college and I moved out out on my own and I was living in my first studio apartment by myself. I was dating my boyfriend, my still current boyfriend, and I think this was the first time in my life that I had a real relationship that felt really strong and someone who I could see myself with for a really long time and something really serious and that triggered my anxiety really badly. A lot of my anxiety comes from relationships, at least in this time of my life it did. This was the first time in my life that I had really put myself in a position where I was in a relationship that I cared so much about. And also I was living alone for the first time in my whole entire life. So I think that had something to do with it too because it gave me a lot more time to sit on my own and kind of work myself up in my head and let myself get to that point. I could tell it was something really unhealthy for me. I was really struggling with being able to manage myself and my emotions and it was causing issues in my relationship. I was not gonna let that that come between me and my relationship. I cared too much and I was so frustrated with myself that I couldn't handle it. I decided I was gonna get help and I was gonna figure out better ways to deal with my anxiety. This is three-ish years ago. I started going and seeing a counselor and she was the sweetest little old lady and she just let me talk and I talked through things that I had never even connected in my head were different issues that impacted me. She just really validated my feelings and made me understand better why I was having these feelings and where they're coming from and that it makes sense that I felt this way. But even still, talking with her made me understand my anxiety a little bit more, but it didn't take it away. One of the big things that I wanted was to figure out coping mechanisms so if I was to get an anxiety attack, it wouldn't be this thing that dragged me down. Sometimes my anxiety attacks would last for multiple days at a time and I would just be a wreck for days. And I wanted to get to the point that I know I'm going to have anxiety still, I can't do anything about it, but I wanted to be able to overcome it. One thing that I always really struggled with was when I had done research on my own, a lot of things had said when you're having an anxiety attack taught me different breathing exercises. If you ever heard of the square breathing method where you imagine you're breathing as a square and you inhale for eight seconds, exhale for eight seconds, inhale for eight seconds, exhale for eight seconds. And so you imagine yourself breathing in a square. That did not work for me. Breathing exercises do not work for me whatsoever. If that's something that might work for you, absolutely give it a whirl. But I've tried it and for me personally, 
when I was focusing so hard on my breathing, it was making me feel that much more out of control and it would make me spiral worse. When I get anxiety, I am like a full on like, <gasps> sobbing, hysterical mess. And so she was like, if you feel like you can't control your breathing through breathing exercises and what's really getting you wrapped up is the lack of control in your breathing, then let's figure out a different way that's positive that you can lose control of your breathing. And so we figured out that for me, something that really works is for me to exercise. I am not trying to pretend to be some fit girl who's like, oh, exercise is gonna get rid of your anxiety. No, that's not what it was about at all. The truth is I'm not super good at cardio. So if I run my ass off and I'm sprinting I'm gonna lose my breath and all of a sudden I'll be out of breath for a reason that's not caused by my anxiety These are ways that I can then lose my breath and lose control of my breathing That isn't because of my anxiety making me lose control of my breathing So in some sort of weird messed up way It's taking control of my body to lose control of my body in a different way That was something that really really helped me So remember at this time I'm still living alone in my first studio as much as I loved my studio and it was a super positive experience for me I think she was a little nervous about me dealing with this emotionally in such a new time of my life. She asked me if I would consider moving back with roommates and at the time I loved my studio, I loved my setup, like I was so happy. That's not something I wanted to do. And so she suggested I should look into getting a pet. I ended up getting the little love of my life. And seriously, this was the best decision I could have ever made. Getting a dog has helped me so much emotionally in ways that I didn't even begin to understand. Getting a dog and having a purpose made me feel so much better and so much less alone. Like I still get anxiety attacks to this day. This little furball knows me so freaking well that the second I can start feeling it coming on, he already knows and literally curls up on my legs, on my lap. I'll put it up on the screen, but I have pictures from the last time I had an anxiety attack. He literally laid between my legs as I was crying on the floor and was like wiping his little eyes like he was crying with me. And I was like, you're so freaking cute. You're the best thing that's ever happened to me. I love him so much, it's ridiculous. Getting a dog is not a cure to anxiety. I don't. If there is a cure for anxiety, I don't know it, but it's something that has made it so much more manageable to me and I'm so, so happy. Just look at him. He's so cute. It hurts my heart every single day. This little furry friend has made a huge impact on me emotionally. Like I remember coming home into my studio apartment and I would walk in and it would be just me and I would feel like I had no purpose. I was never suicidal. I don't want this to sound so extreme, but there was a time when I was living alone. Everything I was doing was just for me and it made me feel like if I just disappeared, it wouldn't impact anything. And then I got Louie and I would come home and we would go on our walks together and play fetch and I'd feed him and all this responsibility. It gave me a sense of purpose again, which I think was really important to have. At this point in my anxiety, my relationship had continued on. I think at this point we were probably dating like a year and a half, maybe two years. We decided to move in together, which is when we bought our house in Arizona. Our relationship had just grown so much. Trust for me wasn't something that I was able to give him on day one. It was something that had to be earned, which was absolutely not a reflection on him whatsoever. The kid is like the most loyal person I've ever met. It was just something really hard for me to be able to give to someone else. After dating for so long, I was finally able to trust him and my anxiety in our relationship, I don't wanna say it went away completely, but like it kinda did. I can't remember the last time I had that same sort of anxious feeling dealing with our relationship. It's been a long time. And at this point I was so excited because I thought I'd finally beat it and handled it, but that's not exactly the way that things work and it comes back in different ways that I didn't expect. I started getting really bad anxiety because of a relationship in my family. It's still something I struggle with a lot today. I hope I can get to a place to be able to overcome it like I have in my relationship with my boyfriend, but I haven't. The first time I had an anxiety attack and this person really caught me by surprise. I tried going for a run. I couldn't get myself to snap out of it. And that was the first time in a long time that that had happened to me. And I didn't know what to do at all. Fast forward three months, there was another trigger with this family member that sparked my anxiety all over again. I think I was really frustrated because it felt like these triggers were occurring and we weren't doing anything to try and talk it out and fix them or make it so it wasn't continuous. Three months to me felt pretty back to back. I don't see this person that often. Having that happen, I kind of threw my hands up in the air and was like, if this isn't something that they're willing to try and fix with me, then I don't want any part of this. I need to look up for my mental health. And if that means stepping away from this relationship, whether it's family, friends, 
means whatever for me mentally the best thing I could have done was just remove myself so that way I wasn't continuing to let myself get these anxiety attacks with them I went like a year which is a really long time and in that year I didn't have any anxiety attacks I was kind of forced into a situation where I had to see this person and I was so so nervous and so I talked to my stepsister like I told you in the beginning she's always been like a huge rock for me through this I was like what do I do I'm so terrified what can I do to fix this she actually recommended to me at that point to use CBD oil and I'd never used CBD oil before I didn't even know where I could get it or anything so she actually brought me this bottle I don't know what the brand was or anything there was no label on it when she gave it to me it helped a lot and I just kind of kept my distance during this occasion and I was really afraid that it was gonna make me feel high but I didn't feel anything from it I didn't feel high I didn't feel messed up at all I just felt like my emotions were a little bit subdued and I just felt a little calmer and that was really good for me I had thought about for a while if I wanted to get like a prescription for something but that just seemed like a little extreme for me because I don't get anxiety all the time and so I was excited to try something a little bit more holistic and go the CBD route and I really really happy with the result I was hopeful at this point that maybe my anxiety is just gone and I can be around this person and everything's good and then fast forward like another two months I saw that person again and right back to it same exact thing huge anxiety attack I didn't take CBD or anything beforehand I had a full-blown anxiety attack this lasted all the way until the next day if you've ever had anxiety you know when you stop having anxiety you're not just fine. It's a very long and lingering feeling. I just felt so emotionally drained and could not stop crying. And at this point, I wasn't anxiety crying. Like I wasn't in loss of my breathing or anything, but I was just shredded. I don't know how else to put it. I just felt like I'd been torn apart. I remember I took the CBD oil that night. Alex ordered me Chinese food and I just like fell asleep on the couch, just like an emotional puddle. Taking the CBD oil did just take a little bit of it away. And it just made me feel a little bit calmer and a little bit more like I I could handle myself. I found that it's been a really good thing for me to be completely transparent because there's no way that I'm not completely transparent in making this video. I got reached out to by this company, Calm by Wellness. They make CBD oil and they do different tinctures. I don't know how you say that word, but they have one for sleeping and focus. This one that I got, which is their chill one, being good with anxiety. And they wanted to know if I wanted to try their products and talk about it in a video. Honestly, I was super Super hesitant at first because I was like is my anxiety story something I want to put out there on blast for everyone when I think about where I was when I was starting this journey how lost and terrified I was when I was in that place where I first started going and seeing the counselor and I felt like I was broken I felt like I was damaged and I wasn't gonna be able to fix it looking at where I am now and how much better I handle myself emotionally just the coping mechanisms I've learned it would be wrong of me to not share my story in maybe help one person if one person benefits from this and whether what you take away from this is that you like breathing exercises or you like running or you decide to get a pet or you like CBD oil whatever you get away from it if it changes one person's life a little bit that's all I wanted when they reached out and asked me to try their product and then talk about it in a YouTube video I was like you know what I needed this push to be able to fully tell my story so they sent me their CBD oil and like I said I had been using CBD oil for a while I do really like like this one. The things that I notice differently between this one and this mystery bottle that my stepsister gave me is this one tastes really good actually. This one is chocolate mint flavor and it kind of tastes like a thin mint cookie. This one, I don't know if it's supposed to have a flavor. It kind of tastes like coconut oil and lemon a little bit, but it kind of just tastes like oil. I like the flavor of this one a lot more. I feel like I notice myself being calmer after taking this one quicker than I do with this one. I don't know. I've been really, really happy with the CBD oil. They are really particular about how it's grown and just the quality in it. This company did reach out to me and I am reviewing their product in this video, but I don't want you to feel like I'm pushing CBD oil on you at all. I'm just honestly telling you from the bottom of my heart, it has truly changed my anxiety, made me feel like I can handle when things go bad just a little bit better. So if you have ever considered it or have been thinking about trying it, I really recommend giving it a go. I really did see positive effects because of it. Oh, I feel so awkward. If you liked this video and and you like a little bit more personal stuff like this then please give it a thumbs up i feel really awkward and uncomfortable about making this if you have any advice for anxiety or any coping mechanisms that you
you have or if you just want to talk about your story or anything like please feel free to comment down below i try and reply to every single comment and get to know you guys so i'm always here you can also always follow me on instagram and shoot me a message i try and respond to every single one of those as well and you're not alone i feel like that's really important to know there's always people out there who are willing to listen if you haven't already please hit the big red subscribe button all of your support means so much to me i'm gonna go snuggle my little puppy all right thanks so much for watching and i'll see you next time Thank you.